well good day we're gonna get ready to do our weekend check here so we got some coyotes on the racks some coyotes hung up and then a couple on the board there there uh so today we're gonna go put up a camera that i took down the other day kind of a bummer we had some bunch of animals move through an area and then the camera battery die so we'll go get that uh done up and then uh my extra power rams aren't going to be here for a while and then it sounds like i might have issues trying to get some snares for them so we're going to go and do what we can today check out a few sets i'm going to start off at the farm grab some bait and then we'll go over to where those coyotes uh and maybe wolves cleaned up all the carcasses there at those two baits and then see if we have any catches there and then we'll carry on with our loop and then tomorrow she's a skin day so we got uh, these guys to deal with tomorrow and see what we got today if there's anything fresh we'll add that to the pile and then we'll start trying to catch up uh, like I mentioned before talking to some fur buyers they're trying to figure out prices and how to get some fur to them or to off the auction we're going to go and uh, check out a couple other baits that we don't have any rams up. We just got fresh snow there the other day on Thursday. We got about half an inch just to freshen things up, which was good. And then last night we got a bunch of snow and uh, blowing snow. So we'll see how that is to get into different uh, spots. We're going to go, well, yesterday after work, I drove down some field edges where I had some good sign of coyotes coming out going into the fields. And so she's all blown in there now. Um, yeah, just where that was, it was getting a little bit deep and then we got this extra snow. So maybe I'll grab a shovel just in case we get stuck and go from there. All right, so stick with us and we'll see what we end up with today. Catch you at the next set. So one of my stops here uh, on the way to the farm, it's starting to get bright already. Almost looks like somebody walked in here. But uh, something went that way. And what do we got here? We got a fired ram. Oops. And uh, broke off there. Can't see anything for tracks. This is me. These are my tracks walking up there making a loop. Um, I think I'm gonna pull this snare here and use it somewhere else. Just because Kayit's got a little wise to this spot. See if they start using it again and then I'll set it up. I got uh, some deer over there and then two snares. So when I come back later, I'm gonna go in the bush there and see there's been two sets of coyote tracks here and uh so they're going through here still i did take three out of here already just a small little block of woods yeah. but uh yeah they have a couple trails coming out this way out of this block of woods so we're gonna go try that later uh in the season once those other snares show up but in the time of uh sake of time i'm gonna grab this and we'll bring it and we'll go set that somewhere else maybe make some catches and some fresh baits all right I'll see you at the next set okay we're over at the valley here so we got some coyote tracks running tracks in here like i said we had the fresh snow so hard to tell what's going on but right here we picked up a pretty good coyote track trail going in kind of following my trail that i walked in on and it kind of stops oh no it carries on goes down there so they really haven't well the birds got on and the coyote carcasses One coyote carcass got pulled down. Might be a, a good trail down here. Going around here. 
what we'll do is uh, I just want to check it out and the coyotes and well the birds are definitely on it clean things up there's a coyote carcass rib cage down there so something pulled it down there anyways we'll let it sit for a little bit more until our other snares dry or other baits dry right up and I might throw one snare in down here where that coyote came in and maybe we'll just pick one up at a time here play around with them I'll keep dumping coyote carcasses here so after I do some skinning tomorrow I got some other carcasses there to get rid of already so we'll start dumping here and get this pretty active the elk hunters come down over here to check it out and, and check this valley out for for elk on the other side here I got permission now to uh, put some baits and just got to get my paper signed to start snaring but that's another option for us here as long as the snow doesn't get too deep or if it does that's a spot I can bring the plow and clean it out for myself pretty good all right well see you at the next set here might be hard for you to see but there's a big body deer right in the center there not a doe it's a buck or something there can you just tell by its body and how it's walking Let's see if we can zoom up on it with uh, the program here but it's kind of walking our way and it's a good game trail that they come up and it walks right through here Little chickadee. Getting some protein. So this one, I just checked the other one. The other bait we're trying to start. Not the valley, but a different one here. And the birds lifted off, so it's telling me that coyotes are aware of it. Just as I was driving up there, I could see some coyote tracks. So again, we're going to have to get this one loaded up and get some get some more bait in here these carcasses and get uh things cleaned up out of the yard again but she sh should be some good snaring in here just have to find some spots where you can anchor to kind of anchor trees are a little bit sparse but we can figure things out all right so we'll get uh off to the next spot here well it's been a little bit of a slow day there we're out and uh, checking the uh, sets there so the fresh snow I got uh, this one bait at Mike's here kind of live and right back up I got a part of a deer in there had a ram over here that got bumped and a couple more coyote trails in here as I was coming in I stopped I had to open up a gate and go through a gate I can hear a uh, coyote barking and stuff like that so and then as I was driving up it was on the hill of course I didn't bring my gun <laughs> that's typical and then well I have a gun but just a 22 mag not not the bigger one and uh yeah so anyways I'm gonna hang two more snares on this side and on the other side of this creek I have a couple more snares so maybe if they're like wolves if one gets caught the other ones kind of hang around and bark and howl and make a mess but quite a bit of sign here again which is good so should be able to get a coyote or two out of here and uh yeah too bad that one got bumped otherwise we'd have had one of those coyote that went through and bumped it okay i'll get some rams out and uh we'll get it going okay so i put my snare here it's a trail where one trail comes here and another one comes up from here pinch point they're not going through this dirty stuff here then on this side it branches off goes this way and that way and then just over here I have another similar spot where i put that other snare so i'm kind of covering off like four trails where they come together and then branch off again and then i'll then at the end of this trail here is the ram that got knocked over so if they come in from the field side i got them covered or if they come anywhere in here they're kind of covered 
and the baits just over this way here little ways so here's another trail that comes up and goes that way to where i'm covered and then goes up and around to where i'm covered again uh, this one's open to the bait but they're skirting around and kind of coming in and this will be the trail that i walk in and out on so i don't disturb the other trails okay well Go to the other side and see if we got anything. Okay, we made it to the other side here and had uh, some fresh Caillou tracks go down here past where my snare would have been. And if you look over here, we got ourselves a, a Caillou. Would have been just uh, caught last night, early this morning. Might have a touch of the mites. We'll take a look here. But uh, came through, got caught, went around here. Oh no, it looks good. Still nice and soft. So we're gonna go check the other uh, sets here and uh, come back and pick it up and remake it. So walking up here, this is where our snare should be. This is the one that I kept getting bumped over. And then Kaiyus have been walking on this trail since, since the snow, which is good. And if you look over here, we got ourselves a catch. So that catch would have been since yesterday. Other Kaiyus usually come up and check them. We'll pull this one out here. So what I've been thinking too, if you look how this one's caught and see where it snares in its mouth. And I'm noticing when I get coyotes caught close to the base of their skull, they're able to reach over and bite that cable. And I, well, I know I lost a few to what I call breakouts, but actually some of them are true outs. So I think I'm gonna to have to go to those heavier cables, 1 16th cable versus these lighter ones. But you can see that's right, right in line with their incisor. If he gets that over a little bit and nips it, they're gone. So I know that one today earlier, that's what happened. As you can see that it's frayed where it's chewed was a coyote. I've seen a few broken sticks with some evidence there. And yeah, so we'll come back and remake this one. This one's fairly fresh too. And remember I told you this is the one we drove into and there's a coyote just over here sitting on top of the hill barking. So it's probably a brother or sister to one of these ones. And no real trails there. They've been coming up on this side, but on the other side of this draw is where I just stuck those other snares. And then I got another snare over here. Some tracks fresh in the snow. And our snare was right here. Right in this spot. And we look over here and we got a coyote. So we got a triple in this one spot which makes up for some of the other quieter spots. At the farm, I think I'm gonna go around and pull all those snares probably later today or tomorrow. I wanted to leave it there in case the wolves went through, but I'll get the wolf bait, which isn't too far away, set up a little bit better. And this one's a fresh, fresh coyote as well. This is just, just caught. It's still warm. It's still super jiggly. So this one was probably with the one that we heard barking and it just expired. All right, so there's three remakes and uh, yeah, we still have a couple good baits to hit. Catch you the next set. I guess I should mention, see how this one's caught a little bit further back. That's fine with these power rams. It's uh, constant pressure and it acts as like a compensator but I was just playing with the coyote's head there and for it to come back and 
and bite it's going to bite up here not right close to the end where those other ones keep breaking so maybe my snares are a bit too high or my loops are too small one of the two but it's what i've been noticing here this season i probably lost i don't know at least 10 kites to that and two wolves all right we'll catch you and that's what the remake looks like just to have the ram lean in there hit pretty good and snare just sticking out just back blading a little bit with my trail oh, try not to trip and then coming out here and just knocking down my tracks a little bit dragging my foot let's take a look at these coyotes i don't do this enough with you guys that's a nice coyote nice and well furred this one here that's where i thought it had shoulder mites but the snares just pulled up on it again not froze so this guy was caught probably two days ago and this guy would have been caught last night or early this morning probably earlier this morning and that other one that we had it's already in the back of the truck but it was over over there that was definitely caught this morning like i don't know 15 minutes before i came here no rig and mortis or nothing so fresh fresh okay oh catch you at the next set just drug this roadkill deer in here looking for tracks so over here we've had a coyote come through fresh fresh another set over there just from while it was snow and the rest of it's all covered up now which is good i see my snare seems to be missing over here let's walk down here and see what we got the two trail snares were empty today and uh yeah we got a snow bump oh, uh, Not a bad looking dog, still soft, so I can hang it tonight and uh, be able to flesh it tomorrow. Caught uh, a little bit further back and like I'm saying, I, I noticed that more and more when I caught a little bit further back, like it's not, it's not uh, affecting the kill because the cable here is loose, right? Not tight. They just go off somewhere, expire. If it's close to their head, I find that they have a better chance to chew it. And actually, they seem like they struggle a bit more because they they have something to work against. Well, we'll just walk over here. I was going to put more snares here, but with the fresh snow, I'm just going to wait a day. I'll come out tomorrow, not too far away from the house. My other snare over there hasn't been, oh, excuse me, hasn't been touched. Just got to figure out where that one, other one came in, which I think is from over there. And if I see the trail, I'll put a power ram on it. So my other rams right there is still good. Actually, I'm going to walk up there and just take a look at the top of the hill. See if they're skirting around backside here a little bit fresher track right here but you look around oh, yep so there's fresh fresh tracks coming through here checking out that rib cage and then kick off there same thing on the other side kind of over here so they're not going down this trail anymore they made their new trail down through the hill here but we still catch the odd one here's a one of my old snare wires so i can if i find they're coming through here again i can pull the ram and move it i just leave that year to year as long as the 
farmer lets me come back, we're good. But uh, I bumped that, but I'll make that track a little bit nicer. I'm sure stuttering here, but make that track a little bit nicer and then uh, see where the other coyote went through. And we'll remake that one set and set up on the other trail. Okay, catch you at the next set. Well, here we are at the other spot there. And then coyote tracks come here. Go here, stop, turn around. If it would have went through, it would have been in my snare. So I'm going to pull this one anyways. Just because it's been pretty quiet. Then it turned around and went back that way. Drove around this island of bush here. And I think I found two spots for power rams. So I got some deers, road kills to throw in here. I should be pigs, but they're froze solid. So I'll have to spend some time with a pry bar and a sawzall. But I'll uh, pull this out and uh, see if there's a spot inside for me to stick it in. All right, catch you in a bit. Some fresh tracks since the snow. There's a deer. So this trail right here goes through the bush there and uh know exactly where I'm going to put that ram. Let's check our other snares over here. Somebody went walking down there. Coyote. Kind of dodged around the other way here. Not doing a very good job of staying on the trail here. Okay. Well, the snare is right there, and the other one's over there. Well, I was doing some videoing there, and then my tit called, and trying to make plans for later. But anyways, that snare was there, and this one here looks like it got bumped. So I'll have to fix that up a little bit. Twist it over there. There we go. And I'll walk this out a little bit and then you can see in here there's all kinds of trails where they circle around it's always my intention is once I get a bait really hot and going is come and just set 20 rams on there, let it so soak for a week and then pick it up and go. Uh, no, we'll make lots of catches doing that. Just gotta wait for conditions to be right. A little bit of snow, all my rams available. Ducking under sticks. <laughs> so here, when I stepped over, I left a gap. I always put my foot through there and drag it through and I'll do that from the other side. This makes the trail look more, more complete. Well, there's two more snares in here to check. And then I'll put that other one over there and maybe another one over here. I might wait till the next time I come in. And I just made mental note where the trails are. If they come out through there again or go in there again, then we'll uh, set up on it. Okay, here we go. Here's one of the other snares there. So they're good coyote tracks. And then you know something's going on, sees it there, and backs away. That's fine, I'll walk through, and maybe next time the next coyote will come through in the dark or something and not notice, and go from there. Like I said, this is fresh, fresh tracks from this morning, so it obviously came out in the daylight here. Okay, we'll catch you at the next set. So we're at the strip here. It's starting to snow again, but I followed some tracks in. It looks like they went in over this way here. Nasty stuff here. And it looks like we picked ourselves up a, another coyote. So the tracks came in from the other side there, left the trail where I drive in on and went over this way. Well, uh, 
get a little closer here. Looks like a Walford coyote. Nice little neck catch on it. And yeah, I just went around the bushes here and inspired. There's my tie wire. What I've been doing a little bit too, I haven't showed you guys, is just taking some tie wire sometimes and just wrap it around there. So I always have it if I need it. This one was a spare one, but I guess this coyote knocked it off. Anyways, uh, I won't remake this set. I'll pull it. I checked the other snares here and there's only one other coyote that's made tracks since last night, since the fresh snow. So I think tomorrow morning I'm going to come early and pull it all and just let things rest for a bit. Use my rams in other spots and then go from there. But anyways, nice little tangle of uh, trees and I had a nice trail right through here. All right, we'll catch you at the next set. So we have a snare here and this is the trail here. We had a snare over there and last uh, check, last video here, told you I was gonna move it over here. And uh, this is their trail here, came through and uh, made a, ourselves a catch. Just caught fresh this morning, just starting to snow here. And uh, yeah, so we'll remake it. Well, maybe we won't remake it. We'll just let it snow here and see what else we have for trails. All right, we'll catch you at the next set. Okay, getting to our last, second last bay of the day. I got one more to check on the way back. Just part of the loop. So this is where we put that snare here the other day. Nothing there. And then we'll uh, take some giant leaps. We'll go back over here. Looks like that snare over here is gone. So we'll see what's going on. And I just walk in over here just so I don't mess up their tracks. And yeah, don't see it. Oops, I hit uh, stop record there and was talking to myself a little bit. So what we have here is that trail. Snare was here. And uh, the ram was in the snow. So it looks like we had a catch. There, and let's just take a look at the other end. And see if it's broke off or chewed off. So I'd say it's chewed off. It's got a little bit of blood right there. So I think we had a coyote. And looking by the tracks underneath the snow, we did. And then you can see it rubbed up against here. So we had a had a coyote. And then it chewed that snare there. So all right. We'll have to uh upgrade that. That's too many too many losses now. Do that. That's two today that we lost. And this is a really good spot. And this looks all roughed up, but that's deer scrapings. I'll remake it and I'll see if I can kind of blend it in here and see if we can catch a, a coyote next time. Well, I, I decided not to reset that one. Just the area was a little bit too disturbed. And then plus I went to close the ram and the safety was gone. So that was one of the new new power rams. So when I get the new ones there, I'm going to make sure all the safeties are on nice and tight. And uh, yeah. And I've dumped my blast bait off at a different spot. And I should have kept a little bit more to dump off at this spot. I'll have to touch it up here. Um, looks like all the bait's gone, so I'll make a note of that. So I'll start next time at this end and top it up and go from there. But anyways, we're going to go into uh, Glenn's bait and see what we got, if we got anything. 
So wish us luck. So just walking through a couple of the snares here. I'll clean that up when I go back through. This is where we made a catch before. Caught a couple of coyotes there. Pulled that snare and put it inside there. Uh, nothing happened over there. And I had this one where we made a catch before and I see it's gone. Let's go over here and take a look. Looks like a snow bump. Put my hoodie on. The wind's starting to pick up and it's starting to snow here. So it's been a nice mild day, only, I don't know, minus, minus six to minus 10. Right now with the wind's picking up and the storm's supposed to be coming in. Uh, it looks like the birds might have been here. So hopefully they didn't. Doesn't look like they did anything here. Oh. Nice looking coyote. I'll pull this one. I won't remake this spot. It uh, has made two catches, but I'll use that ram somewhere else. And I'll let the coyotes tell me where they want me to put them. Anyways, uh, I'll pull this one and uh, go clean up my trail there. And then we'll go into the bush over there and check those snares and uh yeah and then one more stop on the way back home and uh we'll be done and we'll do a little tally for the day all right forgot to video but i had a duck under over there just skiffed off to the side so i fixed that up a little bit and then here i can see might have something so we didn't catch it in this one. If we look over here, we got a coyote there. So that's that's this snare here that we usually have, and then this pulls it over and expired over there. So that's number three, I believe, for this spot here. Three or four, anyways. This exact snare here. It's a good spot. Must be some kind of a trail they follow over there and just looks good, open and inviting. Okay, I'll uh, remake this and then see you guys in a bit. So just in the process of uh, remaking my set and the safety's missing on this ram too. So I'll try my best there to make it without getting caught and uh, maybe I'll carry pliers with me there and fix them up as I go as I notice them so all right if you guys buy some rams make sure your safeties are squished on tight so just bouncing out of our last set here and no catches have to do some more baiting here maybe bring a pig in this one needs a big bait to get things going here. All right, we'll see you back at the house. Okay, we made her home there and doing the tailgate photo video. So we did eight today, not a bad check. Had two two outs, so we should have had 10 and one duck under but that's trapping you can't have them all and there'll be some more for next time all right we'll catch you at the next set. <laughs> 